Hi Linda. So here I am in Windsor. I have the flowers and um, the river is just behind me and we're going to walk up to the castle now um, and the castle's massive. It kind of looks quite small but it's, it's in acres and acres and acres of ground where the, the Queen and um, Prince Philip lived uh, live and um, so and it's a nice walk along the river really lovely walk and it's such a beautiful day today the spring is springing and it's doing its thing and it puts joy in people's hearts uh, I do believe <clears throat> Prince Philip's funeral's on Saturday. I don't know why I think that day. Um, I think they've had eight days of mourning and uh, they had to wait, obviously, for dignitaries to be able to participate in whatever that looks like in these COVID times. And obviously for Prince Harry to come over and isolate and then be able to participate. Um, I guess for us as Brits, uh, the whole Meghan and Harry thing is um, a little bit more real. But I think what makes it really difficult is that people, when when people don't know things, they make it up because that's all that's that's what we do. You know, we always try to identify a problem and solve a problem. And and what we know about the royal family is that we don't we don't know a lot um but you know they they model um excellence i guess and i do not believe that um that things can't be repaired so even though it's going to be a hard time for the family and people are obviously really worried about um what the Harry and Meghan thing, legacy is going to leave and how that's going to be challenging for the Queen and family. I have no doubt it will be challenging, but I also have no doubt that they will overcome it. You know, they're a beautiful family, they, they show beauty. I was here the day after Meghan and Harry's wedding. You could feel it in the air, you know, people were really um, in love, showing love, feeling love, sharing love, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, here's the river and uh, I'll do another little message in a minute. Anyway, over and out, see you in a bit.